What is up guys and welcome back so now in this video we will be working up with the reviewing of a website so that if a person wants to buy from our website how his experience will be and how the admin can view that okay so let's get started first of all what we have to do is that we need to open up the private tab okay you have to just come here if you are using chrome you have to just click this and you have to click new incognito window or you can just hit Control shift n i don't know about the mac uh, but uh, you you have to just click here and the private tab will be open and you it says you have gone incognito if you are on firefox then you have to open up your firefox okay uh i know it would be opened already so now here what you have to do you have to just click here and it says new private window that will say control shift p and it a private window will be open and you have to work on that so since i use the chrome i will just move with the chrome itself okay and now here i have to enter the s5.completewpcourse.com and this is how um my website will be looking up on uh an anonymous computer so this is always look it is looking and so let's suppose that he sees this page and he liked this one um he like oh my god they were just uh, giving the nike shirt for just 25 dollars okay um so i have just done a mistake you can see that this is a t-shirt and i have a shirt inside here so this is the biggest mistake that i've done okay just let's suppose i just wanted to show you how it works so i'm going to choose that i like the blue color okay and on clicking the blue the color would be changed oh my god this is changed okay so let's come here and i want the size to be the medium okay because the medium size would fit but i know excel would fit me so i'm I'm just gonna come here i'm gonna hit add to card you can see the t-shirt for nike uh t-shirt for men by nike has been added to my card i'm gonna hit view card right now and you can see that it is right here okay um here it is we have the 50 bucks right here and we have the shipping rate and the flat rate is applied to shipping and we also have the tax as well this is vat okay so if i just click here to the calculate shipping you can see this is pakistan and this is same and we have the zip code so i'm going to select enter my zip code okay and you can see that we have the flat rate so i can just hit proceed to check out and then you can see that I have to enter my details. So here I want to enter my first name. So let's suppose that the first name of this guy is John and the last name is Doe. So this is uh, the universal um, name that people uses for testing purposes. Okay. And then his uh, company is example. Okay. His street address is example house number one, two, three um, example street example oh my god i'm i'm just using the wrong uh, spelling a x a m p l e and not only once i'm using this word twice a x a m p l e okay and then i have to go down and it says the town city so my town city is going to be um this right here the category is this the postcode is this my phone number is already added this is just used because the chrome has the chrome is doing the thing so now i have to enter the email address so this is going to be info at example.com okay now we have create an account if you want to create an account you can just check this and you can see that i have to enter the password so my password will be this now i have uh, the ship to a different address if i'm on the product to be shipped to a different address i can check it and then i can enter his details but i don't want now I have to enter the order note, so it will be like, um, please add a note. Happy birthday. So this guy will add a note in the product packaging, which is this t-shirt for men by Nike. And that will be the happy birthday. So if I want to gift, send a gift to the person, then I also have to check this that I want the address to be shipped to anywhere else where I want this. And do not place, do not add the invoice. Okay, since I am just sending a gift, that is why I do not want to add the invoice in the package. But the, but I cannot do this, obviously, uh, otherwise it would get stuck in the customs and something like that. Okay, so then I have the direct bank transfer. 
I have the check payments and I also have the pay bill. So let's suppose that I select the check payments, okay? You guys already know that you need to edit this to please send a ch check to store name, store street, store town. You can edit it by just going here, okay? You have to go to the dashboard itself, okay? And I think I for for forgot to tell you this, okay? You have to go to the settings right here and now you have to go to the checkout, okay? And then you have to go to the check payments and now here you have to change this. So please send a short, short code. And if you have to also copy this, and this will appear then, this will appear in the My Account page. Instructions will be added to the Thank You page and emails. And payment method description that the customer will see on the checkout. So make sure that you add both the same so that it also appears on the Thank You email, okay? I'm just gonna click here. And you can see everything is coming. So now here, I want to come here and I want to select the check payments. And now I have to hit place order and it will give an error. Okay. Because I have to accept the terms and conditions. So I'm going to come here. I'm going to accept the terms and conditions. I am clicking here and you can see the terms and conditions. I can review them. Okay. They have the terms C1, C2, and C3. Okay. Noted it down. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit place order. And you can see the order will be placed. And I have to send a check to that. So you can see order number is this. Date is this, my email is this, the total is this, the payment method is check payments and it says please send a check to store name, store street in this and the order details are also coming. So we have the billing address and the shipping address exactly the same. Okay, and then we have the email address itself. And now you can see that I am logged in since I have created that thing. Okay, I have to just click here, my account. Okay, and here it says hello info. Okay, this is the username that is already here. So I'm just gonna go to the orders right now and you can see that in the order, I have this right here. So this is here. And now I will also show you that how can you create a digital product and how can you sell um, softwares onto your website. Okay, in the upcoming videos lectures. So then we have this order number and if I just view it, you can see the order will be basically on hold. Okay, because I haven't sent the check to this one. Oh, sorry. I have to send the check to that uh, the place where there should be. Okay, so I once I will send the check. Okay, um, then the person will receive it. So if I am the shop owner and once I receive it, if I okay, if I just go here. So let's suppose that we must also be having the email. So let me open up my email. I hope that my Gmail is the one. Let's just come here to the setting itself. Okay, I must have received an email. Let's just go to this right here. Let's just go to spam. And here we go. You can see that uh, I also have received an email that says me. Okay, um, and it says new customer order and everything is right here. This is the product. Okay, here would be the SKU, but we haven't added the SKU. The price is this, the subtotal is this, and this, and this, and this. So once I receive the email and I just see that this is the check payment, I'll go. I'll go and check out my newsletter. I'll go and check out my PO box that whether I have received the check payment or not. Okay, so once I receive the check payment, I'll just be like, okay, 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 I've got the check payment and here is the WooCommerce status as well. I'm just gonna go to WooCommerce right here. I'm gonna go to orders, okay? And then here would be all the orders that has been done, okay? I can view the order from here, okay? I can click here and it will take me to the order and here I can view all this order. So this is the order payment by check payments. The IP address is this, the order date, the order status is on hold and the customer is this. And here we have the items here and everything, okay? So he has bought this one, the variation ID is this, okay? And this is the blue and the Excel. So I, I'm going to just see that, okay, I have received his order, okay, awaiting check payment order status changed from pending to on hold, okay, so this is on hold, okay, now what I have to do, and once I have received the payment, okay, I have to just come here and I will change this to processing, and then I'll hit update, okay, because I have received the payment and now I'm processing, so that um, the person can see that this order is being processed. So if this person logs in again, and then he sees that, okay, my order is now currently processing, they must be processing my order, okay? So when this guy will um, get everything, and when I received, when I ship this product to this person's address, okay? And then I will change this product to be completed.
because I have completed this order. Or I can also mark it as completed from this section. So if I just come here and I just hit this, you can see this will be marked as completed. So if I just click here, this is marked as completed and you can see a right is com coming here and this says this is completed. So if I just come here and I just come here and I just refresh this, you will see this order will be marked as completed and I have received this order. What I can do right now, I can just go to the order and now I can review this order. I'm just going to come here. I'm just going to review this. Okay. And I'm going to hit submit. So here you can see that it is also done and it is also showing some related products down below as well. So you can see it says uh, it sucks. Your review is awaiting approval. Okay. Um, once I just get it, you can see that I will be coming here to the comment section. Let's just come here and let's just hit home. Okay. And then here is the comment that says from, and this is pending. Okay. I'm just going to come here. I'm going to hit approve. Okay. And this order, this review has been approved. So once, um, he just come here and he just, um, refresh his page. Okay. And then you will see, um, this is how it is coming. So it says it sucks. Okay. And since we have added that plugin that says share buttons, okay, that is why it is showing share on Facebook, share on uh, pin this products and share via email. So you can see this is coming right here and this review should be applied here. So you can see this says that I am the verified owner. So this is also giving the label. Okay. So you can see everything is totally up and running. And if I just go to, uh, to my website, then you can see that I also have purchased a product and everything is up and running. And this is the review that is coming here as well. Okay. So I can also create a new section now here in my home page and, and that will be best rated products. And this product will be coming on top. Okay. Because this product has been assigned a rating. So this is how it works. Okay. Um, this is how the product, uh, can be worked and how are the payments processed. Okay. Um, in the upcoming video, I'll also show you that how can you create um, a PayPal account that will be sandbox that will be a test account basically. And how can you test payments with PayPal? Okay. So in the next or in the upcoming sections, we'll be working up with this. So stay tuned guys and bye-bye.